Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about BTS's latest message and how the internet has gone crazy with this idea that BTS will make a comeback. There has also been talks of this not actually being true and I wanted to talk about both of them today. I also want to get into Sugar addressing the rumors and talked about BTS's schedule and what is going on with this. So grab your Dumplings, tea spilling mug merch and let's jump into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified and to my new video drops. And if you say, Hater. I'd like to be first leave your hate comment. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that old fishbowl also and you'll be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. Just yesterday the internet went crazy over this idea that BTS will have a comeback and there was a video that was released of BTS giving a speech for their Melon Award Show thing. If you aren't aware this is a big award show in Korea and probably comparable to the EMAs in America. Just another red carpet event. I wasn't surprised to see them on the list of nominees as they didn't release an album but they did release some amazing bops this year. Some argue should they even be nominated in Korea with these songs because they're English songs. And I guess there's a higher chance of selling more in America? I don't know. But for a K-pop act to have such success in America, it should definitely be recognized in a Korean award show, as it's something that hasn't been done before. I didn't watch the show mostly because I am unable to. I don't have a TV, and even if I did, I don't have Korean channels. And I don't know if they stream the award show online. But I heard that BTS did take home a lot of awards, and they sent in a thank you video to thank ARMY. They thanked armies for voting and talked about how hard it must be for armies with the pandemic and it was just overall a very sweet message. We got to see the boys in their new look, Jungkook with even a slightly different hairstyle and a more faded mint color or that was what people were saying. I don't know if this is a new color, it could just be the lighting, but it also looks like it's a faded color from before and I don't think there's a change here. But that's my opinion, the other boys looked about the same. They had been posting selfies on social media, so these were the looks I recall from their selfies. But Jimin having a mullet is new. People were saying online that the hairstyles in represented the new comeback as when an idol makes a comeback, the hairstyle is the determining factor on what the concepts will be and what the new looks are going to be. This is such a big deal that labels know it's a big deal that sometimes they'll even trick the fan before the comeback by having the idol dye their hair one color and then we think it's going to be this look and then they bleach it again and it's a like whole other thing. However, just my opinion, it doesn't seem like anything really changed here to be able to determine a comeback. And if there were any new hairstyles, they would cover it. If you looked at the old hints to a comeback, they would have a fedora on or a top hat or they simply try to cover it. But aside from Sugar, there isn't really anyone covering it and it seems like he is blonde, which is the same as how we have been seeing him on social media. People online seem to also believe that Run BTS will be gone for two years. It became kind of confirmed within the fandom, but I don't believe anyone has specifically said two years. From my knowledge, it was just a random number that everyone picked and there was a moment that Arm said two years in like a joke and then said what everyone's age will be in two years. And people were wondering why two years and that it must mean something. I don't know. It's just convenient to say two years. Most contracts for things are two years. They could have very well said five, but I doubt they would leave for five years. People have been sort of losing hope for BTS because of the military and because of the lack of albums this year. People think that BTS will be gone and they have been leaving or preparing to leave the fandom. We have been seeing a lot, and I mean a lot of the boys in studios and making music and even talking about them recording a lot of stuff but not being able to put it out yet. And the key word is yet. So there is likely a comeback soon but I don't think it will be the comeback you are expecting. It's not going to be a traditional comeback where we get new hair and tons of new performances outside of what they probably were pre-recording this year for. There probably won't be any special performances or special appearances for things that happen spur of the moment. Like things like specific events or new projects they decide to work on and those things you only know about like a month before. And you can't plan these for years in advance. Things like touring or fan meets, even if they could happen, they probably won't. And this is because they probably will be going into the enlistment very soon. I do believe at least one of the members will have to enlist by next year and possibly even send in their enlistment application by the end of this year. And the news might pop up about that soon. I feel like my theory is it will be like a ghost comeback. Like we will see new music and maybe some pre-recorded performances, but no interviews or any new episodes for their TV show. It would be difficult for them to record all this music and stuff and all also do their run BTS episode, which is likely why they are taking a break, but it could be very well only a year break, which is nothing. I mean, look how fast this year passed by. I swear it was January yesterday, and I remember I blinked and it was April. And even if it was two years, it's not a long time. And we as armies need to stick by them. Send support to the military, not physically, but send your messages online where they can read them because they will still be able to use their phone. And just whatever Hybe or Big Hit releases for BTS, make sure to stream it and really be there for BTS. This is when they need 
need us the most and we need to be there. However, if the comeback everyone is referring to online is referencing just the fact that new music might come out, I do agree. I think new music will come out very soon and it will be interesting to see how Hybe goes about promoting it or if they promote it at all since the boys won't be there to physically do it themselves. You know, if they enlist, I don't think they have much of a choice. I also have no doubt that news and websites will still have a lot to say about BTS and BTS will still continue to get their publicity and as there's so much cute conversations and things BTS related that everyone can still talk about. Suga in an interview once talked about BTS and their dating. This is a conversation that is a hot topic among viewers and people do wonder if BTS or Suga has ever considered something like dating or had any interests. So Suga decided to talk about it. I highly doubt Suga would also admit who he liked even if he did like someone although Jungkook admitted to liking IU so that's not impossible for Suga to mention a celebrity as a crush on. During the L Russia magazine interview this topic was brought up and people were on the edge of their seat over an answer and the answer might surprise you. Suga said you'll understand if you walk in our shoes we really don't have time. Just like today our works end in the morning but we have to wake up early to go to practice again. Then Jimin continued the conversation by adding to it saying I don't believe that we can date someone. We don't even have time to meet our family members. Our lifestyles are very different from other people. Even if we were in a relationship it wasn't like the relationship that the word entails. Being an idol is not a 9 to 5 career. It's more like 24 7 business. Idols are the product. Idols spend their entire beginning of their career creating a demand for themselves and kind of laying the groundwork for them to be successful. Making people like them and wanting more of them. When they finally reach the point at which BTS is at, there's literally millions of people who want a taste of BTS. Whether that is their life on vacation, merch, more music, or whatever. People want it. When there is so much to create for this huge demand, you go and do it and you ride that momentum until people don't want you anymore. But I think the demand is hard for a lot of people to understand. If they're working on music, a TV show, an interview, which can be a very typical day for idols, that's a few hours in the morning rehearsing the song, dancing, whatever, and that's usually not enough. And then a few hours on the TV show and then a few more hours at interviews and press. Let's say each takes about four hours, that's 12 hours, not factoring in an hour for eating and let's say that's all of their meals. An hour for showering and getting ready and then let's factor another three hours for transportation to get to the TV shows, interviews, and practice areas. Let's also add another hour for meetings to discuss their plans because the boys have to know what is going on. That's an 18 hour day conservatively because they for sure practice for more than four hours and interviews and TV shows can sometimes take eight hours and that is a chill day. Imagine when they have to tour and then fly back and forth for the talk shows or days they spend eight or nine hours in the studio recording an album. Let alone our boys like to write some of the lyrics to their own songs too so they need time to do that and sometimes that is after those 18 hours and they're alone in their hotel room. I hope this makes sense and kind of puts it in perspective on how busy idols are and whoever you watch are. And I also just want to add another point that imagine spending your day like that exhausted and you go online and you're getting cancelled for something you didn't do or to say it in a more relatable way come home after a long day and you're getting bullied. I hope that puts things in perspective more. Let me know what you think, let me know what your thoughts are, leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you'd like to see over there. Currently, we have over 400 videos that are already up on there. We do have a great time interacting and fangirling over these videos. So if you're interested in being a part of that, link is in the top of the description down below. There's also a video over there that kind of goes over how you can support this channel even more if you'd like to do that. That video is on the front page. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. Click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.